chat hope you're all well and in today's video not really much of information to be honest with you just a bit of my opinions and how i've been feeling lately about Saeed bin Hama. so if you stay tuned for the full video don't forget to subscribe like and share this share this video with a friend so more chatters can accumulate on this channel and if the comment section is disabled then you can go to my instagram which is at benefan chat or my facebook which is benefan chat and leave your messages down there or if the comment section isn't disabled then you can just leave your comments and opinions down of what you think uh, of this video and what i'm about to say so yeah all right so i have to say first all right sorry last last video wasn't really a good video because of the editing i'm sorry but something happened with my with my editing uh tool that i was using it had bugs and everything so i just decided to delete it and stuff so now this video is edited so <laughs> hopefully uh, this is better than last time i'm sorry again but yeah all right so against the game with djibouti so one side ben was put on in the second half i think he could have done much better with his assists and with the passes he was giving um but i do not blame him at all with that because time is really important for a player because time comes with a package it comes with skills goals and adaptation and especially with him having a new uh, environment to play and he needs Saeed bin Ahmad does need uh, ad ad to adapt to where to his new environment so he can play the good football that he's playing here at West Ham so that's what I think is just really important and stuff um I'm not saying that Jamal bin Mahdi intentionally put Saeed bin Ahmad on uh for him to you know for for that small period of time for him to not play well um but i, I just think that you know maybe in the next two games the next in, uh, two international games that we have against uh Burkina faso and then against nigeria and uh, uh, niger i do think that he needs to be put on for the 290 minutes to the two games 290 minutes at least um so he can get used to playing in Algeria, and then when he goes back to west ham he'll continue that beautiful football and if you can actually see the link when he was uh, at West Ham and not putting and, and not being put on for a good amount of time for him to get used to and get adapted to his new uh, to his new to his new environment and to do his skills and everything he wasn't playing too well and stuff he wasn't or either he was playing well but he didn't really have much of a chance now that David Moyes um is is putting him on for a good amount of time like 90 minutes or 60 minutes or 70 minutes which is a good amount of time he is playing really well and he you, you do see him getting comfortable to playing um the hammers pitch so that's why i think we need to reinforce here at, well not here but over there at algeria that's what jamal Belmadi needs to do to Saeed bin Ahmad. he needs to put him on for more time so Saeed can play better so he can give better passes and better assists this, again this is just my opinion from my point of view i don't know about you guys you can leave your uh, opinions down in, in the comment section so that's really just the, like not problem but just the improvement that needs to be you know sorted and solved and stuff so time will equal better player will equal a better player the player will feel happy you know just safe and really into the game when he's put on for a long time you know if he's only put on for 25 minutes or 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something like that you will see him play but you but he won't play as it, uh, um he won't play as better as if he knew that he had more time to play in the game, you know? 25 minutes is not enough for a player to show his true capabilities and to adapt. But if Saeed bin Hamo was put on for a full 90 minutes at least, then he he would have he would he would know in the back of his mind, okay, I've got 90 minutes to do this. If it's, it's okay if I mess up, you know, I have more time to get better, to realise my my mistakes during the game. Um this is just my point of view. I think this is really important. I think time is absolutely essential and will bring lots of good things for a player and for the club especially but what i do think is really important as well if you, if, if you subscribe to my channel because i know deep inside of you right now you're thinking i love her content i must subscribe i must just click that red button until it turns gray turn on all for the notifications bell and i will stay tuned I'll, I'll be tuned i'll be you know up to date with all of her new videos so you should definitely subscribe like this video if you are enjoying it and don't forget to share this video with a friend all right so yeah that's all really i have to say um i just wanted to get this out because i was feeling i didn't know if 
you lot were feeling the same way or if anyone had any other opinions because opinions are important they're a big factor on this channel um the second thing i kind of wanted to touch upon as well i just remember now i think Saeed bin Hama shouldn't really be playing as a winger um but it's an option that is an option, but I think if Saeed Ben Hama at least played next to Rami Zoroki, more in the midfield area, it will be much better for him because he is good with his control and he's, again, as I explained, he's the Lionel Messi. So Messi is usually playing as an attacking midfielder or as a striker. You never find Messi as a winger. Why? Because he's got a lot of control. And with the control comes more goals because if you're controlling all the way up to the goal, you can at least give a, an on-target shot attempt or you will just give you know a, a goal basically so i do think Said Benhamma really does relate to to Lionel Messi now if you look at Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo Ronaldo plays as a winger why does he play as a winger because he's not like Messi they're two different players but they're still the two best players in the whole world under Said Benhamma um Cristiano Ronaldo he gives assists He's usually the one that gives assist, that, gives, that crosses it into the box. He, you know, he does his little swift thing and then goes around and then tries to bang it at the back. But uh, again, Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah, he's made to play as a winger. But if he was put as, as a midfielder, he'd play well, okay? His control is good. He's, he'd play well, but he wouldn't play as much, you know, he wouldn't play better. He wouldn't play as good as he was playing if he was a winger. Messi, the same thing, he can't play as a winger. I mean, he can, but he won't play as well as if he was playing uh, as a winger. So, yeah, just staying on topic with, with Ben Rahma, I do think that Ben Rahma uh, relates a lot to Lionel Messi, and he should be putting, uh, he should be playing at least as a centre striker or an attacking midfielder. I think, I think midfielder is really, really good for him. It will suit him a lot. It will bring him a lot of good stuff with him. You know, control. He has that control. He's built with, with control. So if he's built with control, he can definitely play. He's definitely made to play as a winger, uh, as, as an attacking midfielder, as an attacking midfielder or as a striker. Um, yeah, because winger, you're on the side. And Ben, and ben Rahma doesn't need to be on the side. He doesn't need to be on the side. He needs to be in the middle where he can you know, swift and, and go around players and then shoot or give on target shot attempts. Um, yeah, so that's that's my point of view. I think, you know, the two changes, if I was Jamal Belmadi, I, which is the Algerian manager of the Algerian national football team, I think if I was him, I'd put him, I'd put Syed Ben Rahma as an attacking midfielder and play him for 90 minutes straight for the two international games against Burkina Faso and against Niger. So this is just what I perceive as my opinions and you can leave your opinions down whether you agree or disagree. Um, I'd love to hear them. If you're disabled, if the comment section is disabled, then you can go to my Instagram, which is at benrahmafanchat, or my Facebook, which is benrahmafanchat, and leave your messages and opinions down there. I'll be replying to all of you. So if you have any, anything to say, you should go and do that. And chatters, do not forget to subscribe for more content like this like this video if you are enjoying it and don't forget to share this video with a friend chatters i'll see you in my next video and stay chatting